Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading and this is for Capricorn Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart, Jupiter may resonate with the reading, cross watchers are always welcome, cross watchers if I described someone and you know that it is not you, then it is not you, just because you are connecting with Capricorn, you're gonna assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. For those of you who are new to the channel, then welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you miss the live streaming, then you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click the link. You will be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit and if you want to book a personal reading there's also a link in the description box so capricorn if you are into twin flame readings almost personal readings pick a card and channel messages then subscribe to the other channel it's timeless to row 111 and capricorn i would gladly appreciate if you can click the look the like button and subscribe to the channel and comment down below so Capricorn, let's start with your reading for April the 8th to 14th um, with angel numbers, lucky numbers, what have you, um, dates, time, again, these are for the collectives, um, number 8, number 8, uh, number 6, number 6, repeated numbers are here, number 4 and number 20, so 66, 88, 420, 628, 20 could be the time, um, could be your age, um, what have you. But let's start also with your um, oracle numbers. Oracle numbers, oracle card. All right. Capricorn, from what I'm seeing you kind of like belittling yourself in here right um you feel that someone is much good enough um also thinking that you don't have a chance of winning in a specific um, aspect of your life if this is a romance kind of like you're giving up in here right it felt that, well, of course, there's sadness in here, right? You want to do something, but it felt like you can't because of this lower vibration. Um, surrendering to the divine. I can also see that somehow you're, again, losing hope in here. But the good thing here is that you are kind of reaching out to someone higher, right? By the way, you can also think of a yes or no um, question inside your head. We will be answering that in a bit right after the reading. Cappies, let's say that you want to toss a cup of love to someone. But you felt that you are not beautiful enough. You felt that you are not lovable enough, right? Um, you felt that you are not aesthetically, right? Uh, right for the other person. Um, there's a lot of insecurities in here. Um, you might be connecting with a Virgo or has a Virgo placement in their chart. Or you have a Virgo placement in your chart, by the way. Um, with a full moon in Virgo. Um, I can also see here Cancer or uh, Leo. Um, there is an urge or a push for you to offer and offering this cup, um, this service. If this is a job related, um, you felt that I, I want to be in that company, but you know. I am not, you feel that you are not, you, you have not met the requirements. Um, 
So there's a lot of fears in here when it comes to the Queen of Cups. No, it, it should be that you're looking onto this direction, you want to fight for it, but you're looking away. So there is a sug of war inside your head and your heart, right? Your heart's telling you, go, go on, but you're logically thinking, no, I, I'm just going to waste time. Um, so you already put walls into it. Um, the thing here is, deep inside you, you're a little mad, not of that person, could be, but also mad at yourself, you know, uh, because, again, you're not pushing forward. Um, you might also be connecting with someone that has an age gap with you, right? You could be the younger one, they could be the younger one. Um, if this is not an age gap, then... Someone thinks immaturely, someone thinks um, kind of the otherwise. Um, for a few numbers of you, this is also a same-sex relationship. But let's check the energy on the other side. Um, oh, wow. Well, you lose hope because you felt that they turned their back on you, right? But as you can see here, there's an admiration with the Eight of Cups. The love's still there. Um, the, the cup is still, you know, upright, in an upright position. Um, it doesn't change, but kind of, I'm also looking away. That's why you're looking away. Is it a mirrored energy here? Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, probably they're just, if you're thinking why there are changes in them, probably they're just focused at work. Um, I can see here a lot of, Hard work, kind of like sweat also on the other side probably that's the reason why you felt unimportant as of the moment probably they're not um, paying attention to you um, lately but with the page of swords in here uh, if they can I think that they they're just promoted if you are on this side and you're thinking that your other person is not giving important to you probably they are just promoted kind of I am really focusing on this I'm not seeing a third party yet because we don't have the cards all the cards flipped yet but more of um, I am kind of focused right and really trying to really kind of work hard on the other side um with a queen of pentacles in here but i am going to talk to you um once i have so one thing for sure that's the, the just the painful part in here is that you feel that they're not that, that you are the second priority right um yeah with the king of wands there's an urge for you to ask them communicate also with them the thing here is the sense of i want to communicate is there but the action you know the the action is not um exercised yet um well with temperance in here you might be connected with sagittarius or has a sagittarius placement in their chart and uh, you might be a cusp right sagittarius capricorn um you are somehow probably sending messages already or you know has plans of sending messages to them um oh, this is on your side the controls is also on your side uh there's a lot of negative um that you are thinking right now that's that's why I, I i said that you are on a lower vibration but with the page of pentacles um i think that there's something something kind of abundant is going to begin here you know page is always starting it's always a beginning uh with a six of pentacles well there will there will be some reciprocation here because six of pentacles is giving you an equal give and take um it could also just be really a mirrored energy because this is how you feel that's why the other person also feels that um they're kind of like also caught up in the middle but they're not really um struggling i think that you are not also complaining that's why they're in 
nothing in them right there there's no movement in them but i think if you communicate that there's already that that you are in pain because of the changes i think that they are going to um somewhat um focus on you and reciprocate again this there's a reciprocation in here you might be connecting with a scorpio or has a scorpio placement in their chart there's a lot of things on their plate right now so i think that they are distracted with a lot of things as of the moment and i can see here there you go with a five of wands competition is here competition can be you know on their probably they're just not promoted yet probably they are applying for a promotion they are in a competition the competition is really neck to neck here um they wanted to sign up a contract but uh, for a small percentage of you, then probably you are really in a competition. I'm saying earlier that there's no third party here, but with the five of ones in here, there you go. Um, are you in this situation? Let me know. If you have some questions with this reading or have some personal questions, there is a link in the description box. Click the link. You will be routed to my page. Tap in your question and then click submit. And if you want to book a personal reading, there's also a link in the description box. So Capricorn, um, I told you earlier to ask for a yes or no question. If you're not ready yet uh, for the answer, you can pause. But here is your answer. So Capricorn, it is a resounding yes. So this is your reading. Thank you so much. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading.